Hey, what's going on? Kali Linux is known as the Offensive Security Pen Testers Distribution. It's a operating system that's custom built on Unix to basically run all sorts of offensive security tools across the entire cyber kill chain. So there's recon tools, there's exploitation tools, there's um, persistence, there's uh, wireless hacking. So it, it really runs the gambit. And if you work in the cybersecurity field, you are definitely familiar with Kali Linux. And uh, it's, it, you know, even if you're not going to be a pen tester, it's really fun to uh, play with those tools, get some experience with them and understand what the offensive side of the house looks like. So in today's episode, I'm going to show you how really quickly and really freely uh, you can build your own Kali instance and get it up and running and start messing with it today. Coming up. Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. Uh, for those of you who are new, my name is Jerry Ozier. This is Simply Cyber, a YouTube channel designed to help you take your cybersecurity career further, faster. I do want to give a special shout out to our sponsor, Coastal Information Security Group. Really appreciate that. And uh, if you enjoy the content today, be sure to check out the channel because I've got you know, 40, 50 different videos uh, of a similar nature. Uh, so uh, really quick before we get into it, I do want to remind you, stay th to the end uh, for the One Cool Thing segment. I think you're really going to like this one, especially if you're a retro gaming type person. And I do want to call attention to a talk that I'm going to be giving in November that I'm pretty excited about. And it's in partnership with NIST, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, their uh, National Initiative of Cybersecurity Education. They've asked me to give a, uh, essentially a, um, you know, a federal level talk on how to get into cybersecurity with no experience. So I'm very excited uh, doing this in conjunction with CyberBytes Foundation and obviously NIST. So uh, be sure to check it out. All right. You can you can get this on the YouTube channel. I've got a um, upcoming live event um, on my channel so you can like subscribe to it or follow it and uh, be made aware when it comes up. All right. So let's jump into the Cali. So we're going to use uh, AWS today to host our Kali instance. And why, why is this great? Well, uh, first and foremost, you don't need to have um, uh, a machine that is strong enough, enough processor, enough RAM to be able to host Kali, plus getting all the tools. You might have driver issues, etc. So by using AWS, um, we're absolutely going to put all of that burden on them, and we're just going to reap all the benefits. So you're going to go to aws.amazon.com. You're going to create an account if you don't have one. Once you log in, you're actually going to be presented with um, a screen. It might look different than this one, but um, across the top, you'll have services and resource groups. Just go ahead and click on services EC2 under the compute option. And we're just going to blast through this. So uh, follow along. Click the orange launch instance button. Click on the marketplace. AWS Marketplace, and in the search bar at the top, go ahead and type in K-A-L-I, that's Kali. So it got two stars, I don't know why, probably uh, for a reason that we'll cover in a minute here, but go ahead and select it, click continue, don't worry about the pricing on this, okay? And I'll show you why in a second. When you get here, go ahead and select the free tier eligible one, it's the second box here. This is gonna give us up to 750 hours a month of time um, on this box. So it's free, right? This is where it becomes free. So what I want you to do is once you've selected that, go ahead and hit review and launch. Now you could click next and go through um, like these uh, six different phases. There's no need to. Click review and launch. Now normally you could click launch, but I do want to take one minute and show you something. If you hit previous, you'll see um, for access to this box that we're about to build, the only thing that it allows from like a firewall rule effectively is secure shell across port 22 from anywhere in the world. Now we're going to use a certificate to authenticate to it and no one else will have that certificate. So this is actually a pretty safe bet. Although people could, you know, bang on the SSH door, if you will. Um, if you're really um, paranoid, you could do my IP and it'll be a whitelisted slash 32 IP that only your computer could get to. The problem with that is I've, I've done that and then I find myself 
you know, on my laptop going from somewhere or I'm on a VPN and it just turns into a problem. So just go ahead and leave it the way it is. If you do turn on things like Honeypot or uh, VNC services, you'll have to add rules here. Uh, so just know if you need to add ports and protocols to your box for access, uh, this is where you would do it. So we're going to click review and launch. Then we're going to click launch. Now it's going to give us a pop up here about the key pair. Now you may not have choose an existing key pair, but select create a new key pair. This is where you're creating that certificate. So let's do uh, simply cyber Kali demo. Okay. We're going to click download key pair. We're going to stick it somewhere safe. Let's do it um, here. Don't share this with anyone, right? And go ahead and click launch instance. Now this will take a minute. While that is spinning up, oh, you'll get this green box. Go ahead and click on this. This is the unique identifier for your Kali box. Congratulations. See how it's in an instant state of pending? So while that spins up, let's go to our terminal. And let me blow this up for you guys. Okay, hopefully you can see that now. So you're gonna to wanna to navigate to where your, um, the, this certificate is that you just downloaded. And I'm already in that directory, so um, let's look at this. So here is the Kali demo key. Now, I've already got one because I used this Kali box for something else too, uh, my own. But you'll see that the permissions are set to read on uh, group and world permissions, and that needs to be changed um, to this. Basically, uh, Amazon won't let you use the key. And it, it's quite simple, you do it once. Use chmod 400, and then the key name, whatever you created it. Okay, now if we do this again, you can see the permissions have been changed. And if, if you want, you can just Google Unix permission, permission chmod and see what I just did there. But for the sake of this demo, it doesn't matter. Just change the permissions to here. Then you're going to go SSH tack I. And if you're on a Windows box, you'll have to download PuTTY, uh, which is spelt this way, PuTTY.exe. And you'll use that for your secure shell instance. Okay. But if you're on a Windows, um, excuse me, a Linux or a Mac OS, this is how you do it. So SSHI then type in the key name, then you're going to do Kali at, and you'll have to use this public DNS here, okay? So go ahead and click copy, and it'll ask you about um, continuing, just type in yes, and we are in. So we are in our Kali instance up in AWS, and you could see, um, you know, the interface IP address right here, it's the same as right here, which is the internal IP, right? You could see, and then obviously there's a external IP and this is what the internet sees, right? But again, we only configured it for um, port 22 listening. So there's really nothing there for anyone to, to do anything with. Okay, so now you got your Kali box, what are you gonna do with it? Now, here's something that I didn't know initially. This is actually my second time recording the video. The Kali box that you build in AWS is kind of stripped down and it doesn't come with a whole bunch of stuff. So before we figure out how we're going to beef it up, I do want to tell you a little bit about the Kali um, itself. All right. So Kali is this, um, you know, offensive security pen, uh, penetration testing distribution. Once we get all stood up with what what our tool set and our, our you know, infrastructure looks like, what are we going to do with Kali? So if you go to Kali.training or Kali.org, I believe is also a uh, tools.kali.org, you see, um, they have an entire course here, right? This is completely free. The, you could follow the course. It's got all these answers, how you, how you use it, how you install it, how you configure it. They have the Kali Linux Revealed book. This is a PDF, 340 pages. I mean, you can just walk right through it, okay? This is how you use Kali at a very, very deep level. If you're if you're just looking to um, use specific tools and play around, that's fine. Uh, maybe you don't need to go into this book, but it's as deep as you want to get, right? Especially if you're interested in offensive security uh, as a career path, you may want to check this out. Here's all the uh, tools that will work 
with Cali. As I mentioned, we're going to have to install them, which is different than what I was thinking. But, you know, they got uh, forensics tools if you're into that for reverse engineering or doing um, dead disk analysis and stuff like that. Uh, exploitation if you're really offensive. Um, wireless web apps if you're a bug bounty person. Uh, recon if uh, you're trying to do stuff for your own organization. So it's not exclusively for penetration testers, right? Uh, there's other uh, applications. But so I, I just wanted to make you aware. I'll put these links in the show notes below. But um, I want to show you. Oh, very first thing you really need to do, um, and you really should do this in general, is update um, Kali itself, right? So we're just going to update it. And then, uh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to jump into root. That way I don't have to do sudo anymore. And then I just do this personally so you get the latest and greatest um, Kali box. Then we're going to install the different tools. And while this is happening over here, I want to show you something. Yeah. So when you build this Kali box out, because I mentioned that there's tons of different applications um, that it can be used for, you kind of get to pick almost a la carte how you want to build out your instance, right? So this is a um, command line interface. I don't have a GUI on this right now. I, you, I can add one and then you'd have to open up a VNC listening port and VNC into the box. And Kali's got a really nice front end. I think I have a screenshot here somewhere of, uh, of it for you. Hold on, where's my screenshots, people? Um, of course, here, let me see. Kali GUI, okay, and then let's do images. All right, so I mean, it's your classic. It looks like, um, you know, kind of Ubuntu-ish. Right, you got your applications up here, taskbar, quick quick hit, dock. I mean, it's fine. You don't really need it um, from the command line, obviously, but if you're into that, that's fine. So you pick your interface, and then you choose your meta package, or you can choose kind of like what the application or applications that you're going to be using for your Kali instance are, and then build it that way. So. What I'm going to show you here is um, how you can get like the top 10 or um, I tried doing large and it actually said that the box itself wasn't big enough, uh, but I'm going to show you in a second. So I'm just going to pause the video and come back once this is fully updated. Okay. Okay. So it's done. So now let's look at how we would see what packages there are. So at ga at <laughs> apt cache. Uh, search and then well, let's do Cali. Let's do Cali dash. So here's all the different kind of modules that we can use with our app package. Okay, hold on one second. It's a little tough to see. Okay, here we go. You can see them all. Here's the desktop ones. Here's the tools ones. Okay, so really quick, we're just going to go ahead and install the uh, top 10. Get the right name for it. Here it is, top 10. So we're going to do app get install Kali tools top 10. There we go. And yep. And this is going to give us. Um, where is it? There's a, a list somewhere here of exactly what the top 10 are. Not you, not you, not you. Oh, here it is. Okay. So there's going to be a list of what the top 10 are and uh, they're going to be right here. So we're going to get Metasploit, which is great, John and Password Cracker, Wireshark, which won't work because we don't have the GUI, Nmap, which is your classic network mapping tool. So, see, we got Nmap, we got John, and let's finish strong with Metasploit. I'd recommend, I might even do a separate video on Metasploit. Um, look into Metasploit. It's a total, total collection framework. Uh, 
very, very um, powerful. And it's, it's got its own auxiliary scanners. It's got a whole bunch of other stuff. So, um, you know, have fun. Get your uh, AWS Cali box up and, and uh, play a little bit, you know, see how it goes. But now it's time for our one cool thing. So my one cool thing this week is OpenAI's Gym Retro. OpenAI is a machine learning AI project um, where where you can like train um, AIs to complete projects and you know whatever. Somebody, this group has developed uh, this Gym Retro thing where they've taken classic 8-bit games like Nintendo and Sega games and actually uh, mapped the memory out and understood so then you can apply OpenAI uh, machine learning technology to them and actually have AI complete games like Sonic, Super Mario Brothers. Um, it's a really, really interesting, cool uh, project, open project. And it's something that I really want to get into when I get some free time. But you could, uh, you know, basically write AI to, to play these classic video games that, you know, I personally grew up on and you may have too. I know Retro is making a comeback. So, um, you know, worth checking out if you're uh, into this machine learning open AI space, but you want an actual project uh, to be interesting. So thank you. That'll do it this week. And until next time, stay secure.